I'm now going to ask two uh, actors that I work with a lot in my uh, passion and practice ensemble to come up. Uh, Aslam and Jenny, can you join us? Give them a little round of applause. Not a big one yet. Um, so they're just going to read a little bit of Romeo and Juliet for us, one of the early uh, Shakespeare plays. Yeah, sure. If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, the gentle sin is this. My lips, two blushing pilgrims, did ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hands too much, which mannerly devotion shows in this, for saints have hands that pilgrims' hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmer's kiss. Have not saints lips, and holy palmer's too? I, pilgrim, lips that they must use in prayer. Oh then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They pray, grant thou, lest faith turn to despair. Saints do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. Then move not while my prayer's effect I take. Thus from my lips, by thine, my sin is purged. Then have my lips the sin that they have took. Sin from my lips? O oh, trespass sweetly urge, give me my sin again. You kiss by the book. Very well. <laughs> 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 so this is Romeo and Juliet's first meeting. And um, in fact, uh, when Romeo and Juliet first meet, they meet at a dance, do they not? And uh, Juliet has just uh, finished dancing with Paris. Mm -hmm. Paris. And, uh, <laughs> and as she curtsies and he uh, bows, her hands go back. And Romeo grabs her by the hand. And he's not supposed to, of course, because this is Elizabethan times and you're not supposed to touch. And he apologizes immediately and says, if I profane with this my unworthiest hand, this holy shrine, the gentle sin is this. Now, he's turning Julia into a statue, I suppose, into a sort of like a saintly statue. And he says, my lips, two blushing pilgrims, did ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. So he's turning her into a, a statue of a saint and him into a pilgrim. She picks up the play and says, good pilgrim, you're doing your hand too much to service, which you're showing me in the way that you're, you're, you're talking so nicely to me, your manners. And anyway, saints have hands that pilgrims' hands do touch, because, you know, I suppose pilgrims come to statues of saints and they kiss their hands, right? Um, and, 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 and anyway, she says, palm to palm is holy palm is kiss. Now, there's a couple of meanings here. One is that, uh, uh, you, know, you know, I suppose pilgrims pray to saints, but also, in the way that uh, Elizabethans danced back in the day, they are at a dance after all, you guys can do it, they would dance palm to palm, not touching, and they would walk around keeping nice eye contact, and it's all very sexy, yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> good, uh, thank you, go on. And, and so she says, you know, any, we're at a dance, we can dance, you know, palm to palm is holy palm is kiss. He tries again though, he still wants that kiss, have not saints lips as well as palms and holy palms too. And she says, yeah, pilgrim lips that they've got to use in prayer. Stop trying to snog me. This is public. <laughs> oh, then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They pray. They come together. Grant thou, lest faith turn to despair. Please, I'm getting desperate. Typical boy. <laughs> then Juliet says, well, saints don't move. If I'm a saint, if I'm a statue of a saint, saints don't move. So grant for prayers, say the coquette. Mm -hmm. Then he takes his chance, then move not while my prayers effect I take. He takes his opportunity and kisses her. And then tells her, playing this uh, sin line, thus from my lips by thine my sin is purged. But then Juliet goes, oh, but now I've got your sin all over my lips. <laughs> then have my lips the sin that they have took. He says, oh, sin from my lips. Oh, trespass, sweetly urge. Give me my sin again. And she says, you kiss by the book. So they kiss again. And then whether uh, you kiss by the book can mean uh, you kiss very nicely. Um, thanks for not slipping me the tongue. You know, it can mean whatever you want it to mean, I suppose. You kiss very politely. I'm not, you know. So that's what they're saying. But how are they saying it? Well, first of all, we know they're saying it in, uh, in poetry. There's capitalized words at the beginning. If I profane with my unworthiest hand. Yeah, ten syllables. It's written in iambic pentameter. Think about that for a minute. This is their first meeting. You walk into a bar. 
you see a beautiful girl. You walk up to her and you go, all right, darling, fancy a snog. <laughs> Chances are you're going to get a drink thrown in your face. You walk up to a girl in a bar. Such is her beauty. Such is the amazing quality that she strikes in you and that you seem to find yourself flooding out of yourself. Though when you speak to her, you start speaking to her in poetry. You're probably not going to get a drink thrown over you. She'll probably listen. Juliet replies in poetry. So, to a bystander listening, two people, one starts talking in poetry, the other starts talking back to him in poetry, they're getting on. We can tell just from the writing style, the dynamic between these two characters, because if they weren't getting on, Juliet could speak, he'd give Juliet prose to speak. And they carry on speaking in poetry, but they're not just speaking in poetry, are they? They're speaking in rhyming poetry. Hand, stand, this, kiss, much touch, this, kiss. To do, prayer to spare, sake, take. A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. Such is the beauty, such is the wonder of this meeting that Shakespeare doesn't give them prose to speak to each other. He doesn't give them poetry to speak to each other. He doesn't even give them rhyming poetry to speak to each other. They share a sonnet. The only level up from that in terms of uh, the, the, the hierarchy of speech in, in the way that Shakespeare had to communicate with his char characters is song. God, I say, you know. Imagine for a moment, you walk into a bar such is the beauty of the person opposite you that you find yourself speaking in poetry, in rhyming poetry. They seem to be into you, and they start speaking in rhyming poetry back. Not content with that, purged, urged, took book. They start another sonnet. <laughs> and look at how beautiful it becomes. Thus from my lips by thine my sin is purged, then have my lips the sin that they have took. Sin from my lips, O trespass, sweetly urged. Give me my sin again, you kiss by the book. Give me my sin again, you kiss by the book. Notice that elision. Removing a syllable, it makes it make ten. They're not just sharing a sonnet anymore. They're sharing lines of poetry. They're finishing each other's sentences. And they met 50 seconds ago. So, in order to um, read it right and well, as uh, you guys, can you read those last couple of lines again, as Shakespeare intended? Thus from my lips, by thine my sin is purged. Then have my lips the sin that they have took. Sin from my lips. O trespass sweetly urged, give me my sin again. You kissed by the book. Good, and actually it's probably going to have to be a bit faster, so go from O trespass. O trespass sweetly urged, give me my sin again. You kiss by the book. Good. And the last time I gave this uh, a, a, a workshop on this scene, um, a 14-year-old went, but, but how can they kiss? They've only got, like, give me my sin again, you kiss by the book. But if you guys, like, have just kissed, so come close, 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 close. <laughs> and, and, and notice how we've got thus from my lips, then have my lips, sin from my lips. And it's almost like they're kind of just whispering against each other's cheeks, right? But what's interesting, and this, as I say, is an early play, that not only is he experimenting with the sonnet form that he, he, he wrote a lot of while the theatres were closed in 92 to 94, he's experimenting here with breaking up the poetic form and directing his actors even further, because in order to keep a reverence to the form, those ten beats shared, the actors have to come in on cue. <laughs> 